So the dynamic supine cross connect. So a little bit different from the reset version. What we're gonna do is actually get some fluid movement coming through that rib cage and through those hips. So Ollie, if you start with the right knee and the left arm, same as before, we're looking to take the right knee and bring it in line with the nose. So the knee has to come across the center line of the body. Then we're gonna reach through the elbow and Ollie's gonna to talk to his hand. Then we're gonna come back down and then we're gonna immediately alternate with that side. So we're getting, that, we're getting those walking mechanics and running mechanics going. Okay, so you ready, Ollie? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do it for real now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna inhale for me, okay? And as you bring your right knee up, I want a gentle pull of the left heel down into that foam roller, okay? And the same on the other side, when you, when you go to the other side. So that's it. Good, inhale, return, exhale, alternate. Talk to your hand, gentle pull down here. Okay, inhale, exhale, right knee, left elbow, left heel pulls down. Inhale, exhale, good. And we're just getting that walking mechanics going, so obviously just preparing the body for human, like basically natural human movement. Good. Don't forget, I'll to keep pulling those heels down. So just get a little bit of hamstring on that heel pull. Good. And it shouldn't be a challenging exercise, it's about freeing up movement. Good.